The timeline went something like this. April 2020, Lenovo tells the world that a trio of new ThinkPads will launch later that summer with Fedora 32. In my interview with Lenovo's Mark Pearson and Fedora lead Matthew Miller, a whole bunch of surprises are revealed that shows Lenovo planning to treat Linux like a first-class citizen. Stuff like a Linux equivalent to Lenovo Vantage. Stuff like global availability and shipping. The community happily freaks out, and I freaked out right alongside you. June 2020. Lenovo announces that it will certify its ThinkStation PCs and ThinkPad P-Series laptops for both Ubuntu LTS and Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Every single workstation PC they sell won't just support the distros, they'll ship with them pre-installed. May 2021. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome back to Linux for Everyone and welcome home. Uh, today we're going to talk about Lenovo's Linux hardware on two different fronts and I've got an update to share directly from uh, the senior Linux developer over there, Mark Pearson. But first, uh, I wanted to let you know that there is a brand new Linux for Everyone YouTube channel that you can subscribe to. It is just for full length Linux for Everyone podcast episodes. I'll have a card up there somewhere, and there will also be a link in the description below this video. So yeah, last year, uh, about this time actually, in 2020, I was all aboard that Lenovo hype train. They did a fantastic job of getting us excited about Linux being treated as a first class citizen. Uh, they had the big announcement alongside Fedora where they were gonna release three different laptops globally. There wasn't gonna be any proprietary software. It was gonna be pure Fedora, pure open source. And then they really blew things out of the water by saying, okay, now we're gonna put Ubuntu LTS and Red Hat Enterprise Linux on pretty much every workstation PC that we have. And we're gonna have web support and we're gonna have a new forum and we're gonna be building software so that you get uh, you know, that equivalent experience on Linux that you would on Windows with stuff like Lenovo Vantage. And then I started hearing all of these all these rumblings from the community out there. And you guys were saying, yeah, where are these laptops? Uh, I can't get them in Europe, or I can't get them in India, or I can't even get them in the States. I spent a lot of time on the channel actually talking about the uh, ThinkPad P53, this beast right here. And then uh, some of you were coming to me and saying, you know what, I, I talked to their customer support and they don't even know that they sell consumer laptops with Linux on it. So it seemed like there was a disconnect between the amount of hype and goodwill that was generated and then the delivery of those promises. And during my interview with Jeremy of System76 a couple weeks ago, uh, he had some very bold things to say about Dell and Lenovo's customer service. So Lenovo's Mark Pearson, who is a senior Linux developer over there, he listens to that episode and he sends me an email. Now, it's not, it's not a negative email at all. It's actually very exuberant. And uh, he has a lot of praise for what System76 is doing with uh, core boot and open firmware. But he also uh, wanted to clarify a couple things. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to read this email from Mark Pearson. Mark says, the Linux program at Lenovo is very much alive. Last year was crazy slash exhausting slash frustrating slash exciting and was a big learning curve, particularly with regards to our internal process and the steps between certifying a platform and actually getting it out to market. COVID and the resulting components issue just added a whole extra layer of pain, but it is what it is. And Mark goes on to say, that being said, we do have a bunch of systems online in the US and our 2021 platforms are just starting to roll out. Mark continues saying, we will have worldwide sales too. I'm not going to commit to a date because I got burnt there before by internal issues and delays. Mark says, as Jeremy alluded to, it's really not easy getting these systems out in different geographies, but I'm expecting positive updates soon, and there's a lot going on behind the scenes. 
Eventually, we'll get Linux up everywhere. Slower than I would like, but it will happen. And then he finishes this section of the email by saying, I'm genuinely fascinated to see what impacts it has. This is Mark, I think, showing a lot of transparency. And he showed the same kind of candor when I interviewed him and uh, Matthew Miller last year about this whole thing. I get that it's tough working inside of a corporation when you are an enthusiast, when you are just so passionate about getting these things rolled out and getting stuff happening. Um, so I do appreciate Mark's transparency here. Now, I don't, I don't like being the voice of dissent. I like to keep things positive and, you know, energetic around here. But I've got to present both sides here. Um, now, Mark said that they have Linux systems online in the U.S. And he has uh, a link that I'll share down in the description. So here's the link. This is pretty much all of the Lenovo systems that ship with Linux. Let's go to laptops. We've got a ThinkPad T14, T15, P15, X1 Carbon, X1 Yoga, P15 Mobile Workstation, P1 Gen 3. Now, if I had to guess, I would guess that the, the, uh, that the ThinkPad X1 Carbon Gen 8 is going to be one of the most popular choices. So let's click through here and see what our options are. This ships free in more than 12 weeks. So... Uh, that puts us at the end of August 2021, in the best case scenario. Now, the base specs for this system with Linux that ships in more than 12 weeks is Intel Core i5 10210U, 8 gigabytes of RAM, a 256 gig SSD, and 14 inch screen. Okay, remember that. Now let's browse over to the ThinkPad X1 Carbon Gen 8 with Windows and see what the options are. So we have a few different, what looks like uh, pre-built and ready to ship options here. Now check this out. This ThinkPad X1 Carbon Gen 8, ready to ship the next business day. You order this today and it ships the next business day. It also has a Intel Core i5 10210U processor, a 14 inch screen, eight gigs of RAM and a 256 gig hard drive. This is exactly identical hardware to the one that ships with Linux in more than 12 weeks. And so to me, that's the disconnect. When you say that we're gonna treat Linux like a first class citizen, but then, you know, okay, let's, let's take away the fact that they haven't managed to have global shipping yet. Fine, we're in a pandemic, I totally get that. But when you have a system that has identical hardware and it ships with Windows the very next day, but if you want Linux on it, it ships in more than 12 weeks. That's not acceptable. And that's not treating Linux like a first class citizen. And Lenovo, you've got to do better. Now, in my interview with Jeremy at System76, uh, we also talked about the kind of customer support that you can expect when you're dealing with Dell developer edition systems that ship with Ubuntu or Lenovo systems that ship with either Ubuntu or Fedora. Let me just play the clip. Because Dell support and Lenovo support for Linux is subpar. Oftentimes when you open a support ticket and you are a Dell customer, the primary thing that their level one support will do is try to figure out what version of Windows you're on. And if you're not running Windows, get you to reinstall using the recovery disk that comes with the machine. Really? Yes. They'll just say and this can oh be verified God. if you ask. Oh, that's not cool. If that's you ask cool. people who buy direct from <laughs> Dell, even for the developer edition that comes with Ubuntu, uh, they will they will drive you to doing a Windows install. What to and you will have to escalate. So you'll yeah. have to say, "Well, I bought the developer edition. It didn't come with the Windows installer. I don't want to run Windows." Perhaps they will escalate you. And you will get specialized support for, for Linux. And almost all of that is true about Lenovo as well. I know a lot of people will say, well, buy Lenovo, buy a Lenovo. Maybe if you get like the X1 Carbon, it will work out of the box. But if you go special and you get like a P51, something running NVIDIA or a Quadro, it can be a real pain in the butt to get Windows, to get Ubuntu working as well as Windows. They may sell it but they do not really support it at the level that companies like System76 do. Now let me read you Mark Pearson's response. 
The support, or lack of, comment Jeremy made was somewhat fair, but not 100% accurate. Lenovo does give Linux support, and if you call our support team, they should not be bouncing you or asking you to install Windows. I've personally done a number of training sessions with the support team, and while I recognize it's far from perfect, it is getting better fast. We've got a long way to go and grow, but you have to start somewhere. See, I love that attitude. Now here's the part. Here's the part that I really, really appreciate. Mark sent me a follow-up email, and he said, if people are having issues with our support team, I need to know about it. I've escalated a few cases that I know were misses, and I'm sure there will be more. Feedback is welcome. Mark wanted me to give you his email address in case that you are personally affected by their support or you know somebody who is. So it is markpearson at lenovo.com, or you can also uh, head over to their Lenovo Linux forums if he says, if people really want to let rip publicly. So again, I really, really appreciate the candor and the transparency. And it's nice to know that someone that high up the, the ladder at Lenovo is really pushing for a difference. Um, but I think we also have to understand that Mark is just one man and his team is just a small part of a much, much bigger global corporation. And uh, it's got to be frustrating sometimes trying to get those gears moving a little bit faster. But uh, that's what I've got for you. And uh, this was an important video for me to make because I was so personally invested. I devoted a lot of, of screen time to it and a lot of words to it. And I want to keep following that progress. So um, if you guys have any questions for Mark, you can email him, markpearson at lenovo.com, or uh, drop a comment here on this video and I'll make sure he sees it. Before I say goodbye, I wanna give a very heartfelt thank you to Tuxedo Computers, who makes all of this content possible across the whole network. Uh, I am using their Tuxedo Pulse 15 laptop with AMD Ryzen, and it's just, I mean, it's, I love it. It's feather light. I'm on battery, by the way. I have been producing the last several videos on battery and the thing still lasts all day. I'll have more coverage on this in the very near future. But uh, seriously, thank you Tuxedo for helping make all of our content here possible. And you know who else makes all this possible? Our patrons. Linux for everyone, Penguin Pals and super fans. thank you so much for your support. I'll see you all in a few days for the next video. And until then, join us on Telegram and Matrix and Discord and Mastodon and Twitter. Wherever you're hanging out, we probably have a community there. And if we don't, I wanna hear about it. Yeah, we'll talk soon. And until then, take care and take care of each other.